How's it going again, people? It is Charlie, and welcome back to another video on the Chatting Leads YouTube channel. It is time for another instalment of Bite Size Leads, all the latest goings on in the wonderful world of Leeds United Football Club. Just before we get started, as always, please smash that like button. It really does help get the video out there. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. We're on the road to 3,000. Please hit that notification bell as well. And of course, get all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. Another thing to mention as well, guys, I have started a membership feature on the channel um, for £1.99 a month. Um, it's the only level that I've um, created, obviously. I didn't want to put it too high, obviously, because I know that some people may not be able to afford to keep up to a high amount on a consistent basis and I totally understand that. It is just there for anybody that would like to maybe contribute on a monthly basis towards the channel and anybody that does sign up to be a member will get priority response back to comments on videos. Um, I'll follow you all on social media if you follow me and I'll follow you back. Um, and um, if you DM me on social media as well, I'll make sure that I personally get back to you with any responses as well. So, yeah, £1.99 a month. So if you haven't already, go and check that out. Right then, all the niceties out of the way. Let's get into some news then, shall we? Let's start with Jack Harrison and Wilfred Nonto, who in the last day or two um, have been rumoured um, and, well, it, it's speculative of course and it is all rumors but they've both been linked with Everton um which I found quite strange um and another thing to do with Jack Harrison as well is that apparently his relegation release clause sits at about 11 or 12 million which if that is true again this is all rumors but if that is true then that is an absurd relegation clause I wonder who put that in oh yeah Victor Orta the absolute clown who signs a new five-year contract and puts a relegation release clause as 11 million? That's what we bought him for. So we wouldn't be making anything on Jack Harrison, basically, if that is to be the case, which is just absolutely insane. Um, on him being linked with Everton, though, don't think it's the sort of club that Jack Harrison will be joining should he leave Ellen Road. Obviously, Leicester were massively linked with him, but they've also dropped to the championship I feel like he'll be wanting a, a, a Premier League move. I think West Ham have been linked with him as well. And, and I think West Ham is a club that I see him being at more than Everton. I just don't think he would suit Sean Dyche's style of play at all. The same goes for Willy Nonto as well. I don't understand where that link has come from. Again, it may just be a rumour, um, but I just thought it was interesting how they'd both been linked with Everton together. Um, and the... The Jack Harrison relegation release clause potentially being 11 or 12 million, I think, is an absolute joke. Um, and Victor Orta should hang his head in shame if that is the case, because that is a shocking deal. That is a shocking clause to add to a new five year contract. Um, but yeah, absolutely absurd. Um, let's move on to Tyler Adams then, another potential outgoing. Apparently, Brighton um, have joined the race and they would be willing to put £25 million bid in in order to secure the USA International signature. Again, a lot of clubs being linked with Tyler Adams. It's hard to kind of pinpoint one where you think he might go to. Obviously, Brighton have been rumoured. Liverpool have been rumoured. Forest and Villa have also been rumoured as well. Um the one I could most likely see him going to is potentially Forrest, um, because I, I have seen that they've kind of identified him as like the specific profile of midfielder that they would want. But also Brighton are apparently having a look at him as a replacement for Moises Caicedo, who does look set to leave the, to leave Brighton for Chelsea this summer. So yeah, there's a lot of uncertainties regarding Tyler Adams. I've I've seen rumours saying that he wants to stay. But I've seen rumours saying that he's told Leeds he wants to leave as well. So it's kind of hard to know what to believe. I do thoroughly believe, though, that once we get the manager sorted this week, hopefully, that all of the moving parts will start to move on and we'll have a little bit more clarity on who's staying and who's coming in. Um, some, um, well, A outgoing, sorry, um, that has pretty much been confirmed is Tyler Roberts exiting 
Ellen Road um, as he looks to complete a permanent transfer to Birmingham City for a fee of around £750,000, um, which just shows how poor of a player Tyler Roberts is that he's going to be rocking up at Birmingham. No disrespect to Birmingham. Now I've said that, they'll probably beat us this season now. Who, who knows? I don't know. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit... I'm I'm happy to see Tyler Roberts go. I am, um, based on sort of the last sort of performances that we got from him in a Leeds United shirt. But I feel like there was a lot of potential there originally, and there definitely was a technically gifted player in there. But I feel like his form was that bad towards the end that it, it only made sense that he would leave. And I'm surprised he didn't leave on a permanent transfer last summer. But obviously they sent him on loan to QPR where he had an, an okay season with them. He did get an injury towards the end. Um, but yeah, I, I think he'll do well at Birmingham. He'll probably be one of their better players. Um, but it was never going to work out for him at Leeds United. And yeah, I wish him all the best. Um, brief chat just about the manager. Now, I was going to come on here this evening and speak about Leeds United being linked with Iriola again. Obviously, because he's his contract at Viacano expired, which made him available. But then Bournemouth sacked Gary O'Neill this morning, and a few hours later, they had the appointment of Iriola wrapped up. Um, good bit of business behind the scenes there. There was no links for Bournemouth and Iriola. There was no talk of them even thinking about sacking Gary O'Neill. So they've kept that very quiet, and they, and they have done that low key. And you have to rate it to be fair, but it is a little bit sad. And it's a very sad state of affairs at Leeds United when Iriola is going to Bournemouth and Bournemouth seem to have their act together more than we do at the minute, which is very, very concerning because they are a much smaller club than Leeds United. Um, but yeah, another manager bites the dust. Another good manager that we've been linked with has moved on to a different club in the Premier League. Um, but yeah... Look, I, I I don't think we were ever going to be able to tempt Iriola to come to the Championship, so it does make sense that he's gone to Bournemouth. Um, but yeah, it is just a little bit annoying, isn't it? But there you go. Let's speak about Charlie Cresswell as well now. Um, Charlie Cresswell, obviously a young centre-back, um, has just spent the previous season that's just ended out on loan in the Championship to Millwall, um, where he had a very good season. Um and he's currently with the England under-21s in their Euro competition. Um, apparently, Rangers have submitted a bid to Leeds United, which has been rejected. Um, now, that can either mean one of two things. It means, one, we want to keep him, um, or two, we maybe do want to sell him, but the offer that they offered was obviously too low. I would keep Charlie Cresswell. I think he would be a very good player to have in the championship. He's had that championship experience, had a good season, had a decent team in Millwall in the championship. Um, and, and you know, I, I think it would definitely be time for him to step up to the first team and be a huge part of our promotion push. I think with a good centre-half next to him, I think he could have a very good season for Leeds United. Again, there's a few youngsters, obviously there's Gellart, there's Cody Drame, you know, Hjelda. Darko Jebe, who could really benefit um, from Leeds United dropping into the championship. I think, you know, especially Cody Drame, you know, having such a good season at Lou and helping them get promoted. I know there's like Burnley and such that are looking at him. But whoever comes in, if they can promise him first team football, I think he'd stay. I really do. I think if he were promised to be the starting right back, he would stay at Leeds United and help us get promoted, I do believe. Um, but yeah. That's all I've got um, for this instalment of Bite Size Leads, guys. Really hope that you've all enjoyed it. If you have, please smash that like button. Please subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. Get all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. And of course, hit that notification bell. And as I said at the beginning, if you can afford to do so, take a look at the membership feature that I've introduced onto the channel for £1.99 a month. And you'll see all the perks that you get along with it. So if you haven't already, go and check that out. And I'll see you in the next upload, people. Have a good evening and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.